Death came to Marvin Wilson nearly 20 years after he was convicted of fatally shooting a police drug informant. The method of execution, a lethal injection. It was a penalty the U.S. Supreme Court had long found to violate the Constitution's ban on cruel and unusual punishment when imposed on the mentally retarded. But Texas courts have judged Wilson as not mentally retarded, even though psychologists measured his IQ in the bottom one percentile, about equal to that of an average five-year-old child. Standard use to determine if he has mental retardation is based on unscientific factors. So the whole issue has been getting the courts to confront that. Wilson's lawyer says that unlike other states, Texas courts have accepted a definition of intellectual impairment that's too vague. The, the state didn't do anything other than say, well, he was able to have children. He was able to have a job here and there, so he can't have mental retardation. But those arguments failed to convince the high court to stay the execution. Wilson had two different claims, one before the uh, state claim uh, uh, revolving around DNA testing, and then there was a federal claim related uh, to mental retardation. Uh, both of those claims were heard by the courts and subsequently denied. Members of Wilson's family and relatives of the man he shot entered the prison before he was put to death. Outside, a small group of capital punishment opponents held a quiet vigil. Texas is one of 33 states, along with the federal government, which still maintains the death penalty. And in this building, Texas has carried it out more than 480 times in the past three decades. That accounts for one in every three U.S. executions. A recent poll indicated more than 70 percent of Texans approve of capital punishment for murder. Yet in step with a national trend, the past decade has seen a steep decline in Texas death sentences, much less executions. I think that really shows the shifting climate on this issue, uh, both that prosecutors and juries can um, accept alternatives to the death penalty um, and that, you know, protect society. But that acceptance comes too late for Marvin Wilson. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Huntsville, Texas.